Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be discussing the most unlikely ways to die, as explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. We're all pretty familiar with how the majority of us will end up clutching the Grim Reaper's bony fist in our own. Mostly a mix of cancer, heart disease, and auto accidents. Still, there are other causes of death that sound much more strange, yet happen frequently enough to give you pause for thought. Like what kind of thing? Being bored to death by a British guy who rambles on and on and never gets to the point? Nice. According to the Center for Disease Control, who keep detailed but, frankly, deeply unsettling records of such things, between 1999 and 2014, there were 951 deaths caused by powered lawnmowers. Perhaps, fortunately, it does not describe exactly how these deaths happened. I knew I was right to be wary of summer yard work. Well, in a blow for fans of the colder seasons, a mix of falls from ice skates, skis, and skateboards racked up a further 1,139 deaths in the same time period. But maybe the most disturbing statistic from these years is the 2,167 deaths caused by constipation. Wait, what? How does that even work? It tends to be caused by heart failure from all that straining. When you bear down hard, as people trying to push out a poo are wont to do, it triggers a nerve in your chest that tells your brain to decrease your heart rate and blood pressure. At this point, your body overcorrects wildly, causing your blood pressure to immediately spike and causing potentially fatal heart arrhythmia. The good news is that I am safe from this because what you just said made me sh my pants. In more recent news, texting now kills around 6,000 people every year, specifically texting while driving, although if you ever send me a text full of emojis and lols, I will probably have a rage-induced heart attack. Still, the takeaway here is that texting while driving is one of the dumbest things you can ever do. I will open a bottle of champagne the day I drive more than 20 minutes without seeing some moron doing this. In which case, be careful. Allegedly, and do take this with a grain of salt as it was reported in a not entirely reliable British tabloid, nearly two dozen people are killed by champagne corks each year, with a third of those deaths happening, of course, at weddings. Okay, fine. I'll just eat my feelings. Again. Well, be careful with that too, as vending machines can be lethal. 2.18 deaths caused by vending machines per year is the most reported statistic, with all sources claiming that 37 people were killed while trying to retrieve their snacks between 1978 and 1995. As every single one of these articles takes joy in pointing out, this is only a little less than the average number of people killed by sharks each year, which is currently around 4 worldwide. That's interesting and all, but how does one actually get killed by a vending machine? It's normally caused by the machine toppling and falling on you while you try to retrieve a stock food item. They can weigh up to 900 pounds when they're empty, so you can see how one fully stocked with hundreds of soft drink cans could be enough to crush a fully grown man like a grape. I am beginning to rethink going back for my sixth bag of trail mix. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products. <laughs>